It's the PK and DK show. Please stand by. Stand by. Stand by. On the air next. Please stand by. It's all about the internet. www.pknDK.com. Forget the PK and DK, DK show. Your average everyday couple fight and make up on YouTube. Welcome to our dysfunctional life. Sharp. Start time is sharp. How are you, friends? PK, Denise, say hey, how are you? Yeah, dude. Oh, we got uh, we got a few things we're gonna talk about, some stuff to uh, to cover. Gotta say what's up to uh, people joining us early tonight <laughs> or late. You know, I blame you tonight. Blame me? <laughs> I take the blame. Yeah, you, you know, you gotta. Yeah, like I said in the chat earlier, I said uh, my sugar mama has to work late tonight. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. every night now. <laughs> yeah, I never is, see her. That is so That's true. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you think she has another husband or something, <laughs> yeah. another boyfriend, whole other family. <laughs> she had kids I don't even know about. PK's gonna start like checking who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Why are you? Yeah, I got uh, a lot. But, uh, I'm a busy, busy woman. You got off at seven. Yeah. Uh, picked you up, and uh, we were still able to turn it around to do the show tonight because it was iffy there for a little while. We didn't know, know if we we're going to be able to, uh, to know, but, make it happen. But, but, but here's yeah. the thing: like I, I, I have priorities and I have boundaries, and I absolutely love <laughs> you doing. Don't. I absolutely love yeah. doing this show what? every Wednesday. It is like my outlet, being able to see everyone join the chat and. Saturday was a lot yeah. of fun, but um, like every Wednesday, like everyone needs like a little break. The week is hectic. This for me is a great outlet for everybody seeing chatting. Like it is something that I personally need. Again, I always say it's like my therapy. Yeah. So here we are. You dress up to my tonight. therapy. I wore this to work. By the and way, now I'm here. <laughs> don't let her lie to you, people. She has zero boundaries. Yeah, you know, know, she tells me about issues uh, at the hotel that she's working <laughs> don't on. Don't worry about it. Shh, 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 shh. I have to tell her. I'm like, are are you the C? Do you own it? Are you the CEO? These are other people's jobs. Ah. You're trying to do their job, ah. which I knew that would happen because you're a control freak. Yeah. It's a great quality Thank to you. have. So I got hired. <laughs> they know you my really work care. ethic. They know my work. Just before we got on, I'm like, okay, check, check, yeah. check. Thank you for the update. See you tomorrow. So I am out. Um, but you're but doing a great job. So oh, thank you. anyway, big thanks to everybody joining us. Big thanks also. I got to give some love to the uh, to the replay. Gang, 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 gang. 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 I love uh, catching up with the messages. I don't always do, but like today, I was uh, posting Saturday's show. Today? On a Wednesday? What the hell are you doing yeah, Monday, Tuesday? It, it, it got away from me, to oh, be honest oh, with you. Oh, okay. So you were working too, huh? Whoa. <laughs> what the F? I'm on nonsense. Oh, she's on that loose talk tonight. <laughs> and Apple had some some problems and stuff, but... Um, but Saturday night show, you can always watch it on YouTube, but now it's up on all podcasting platforms and for PK and DK Plus on uh, Spotify and on Apple. The Apple took a while because, again, I couldn't access the website to get it up. But all that stuff is on there. Uh, but to my initial, what I was saying is is that uh, as I was posting the show today, then I saw all the replay gang 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 comments yeah. on Saturday show of the people watching it later. And I was like, this they just, oh, it brought a smile to my face is what I'm I saying. So shout out to that. you. I need to see that. Shout out to you. Thank you, guys. Uh, Saturday was fun. It was. Yeah. I was uh, I was a little under the weather still. Oh, plus then add uh, some wine, a little bit of oh uh, my god, we should it up Adderall we, that you sniffed up, huh? and then uh, the result was Saturday ground, night shows. You, it was insane. You ground up Adderall? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, right. okay. I was like, kidding we should around. we should explain at some point. I forgot to add it to my notes. I could do so now. What we did after the show on Saturday night because it got out of control. Well, we didn't bang. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my, yeah. Oh. oh, I forgot. How? I mean, I did too. That's why I was like, I Is forgot to add it to my notes, but. Western. It got. Don't say the name. No, I'm not. Did it get a little creepy at the end? I w- was talking to uh, another lady. So you didn't, th- okay, th- you didn't hear I, the conversation. I did not hear the conversation. I was not involved, which is probably what about why the like conversation we were, happened. What about when we were leaving? An old dude came to the car, and we were like, "All right, we gotta. We're, we're trying to get out of here." Ooh. And it was just like hard to shut the door, trying oh, to get out of that was, conversation because she wanted like the phone number. Oh my Remember god, that? that's right. It, it got it's a little all coming weird. Back to me now. 
Saturday night got Whoa. a little weird. Uh-huh. I want to share this story with you. So that is on the way. <laughs> We're just too nice. People, this, I think yeah, so. I think so. Also, we have this noise. We're still trying to get some guesses for so. And by the way, we can do real-time guesses. So anytime you have a comment throughout the show, obviously put it in the chat. But if you'd like, you can also drop us an instant voice note. And then it comes right to the studio. I can play it right away. So, uh you can do that online at pkndk.com. If you go there on a the mobile phone, you'll see the Ivan button. You hit that, your comments come right to us. But if this is your first time watching the show and you're doing it live, this is the noise, and we'll check some guesses coming up in a little while. We had a guest that was pretty close. Mm-hmm. We did. What's that noise? So I'm on set. But if you got some guesses again, we'll get to them in just a few. I uh, just wanted to play that right out the gate, so give you some time to submit some more. If you so inclined, is what I'm saying. What do you see in the chat? You want to do a little roll call? Yeah, absolutely. Why do we do a roll call? Because the people must, must be, be heard. heard. Long time since I've been able to join live. What's going up, fam? From PDX Leroy. What's up, Le- Leroy? PDX. Yeah, Patterson. That's still the best thing. <laughs> Best YouTube clip of all uh-huh. time, Leroy Jenkins. Yes. <laughs> uh, but good to see you in the chat, man. Yeah, good to Leroy. see you. How's everything uh, how, how, how in uh, I heard Portland. Yeah. Uh, they came to their senses. They re-criminalized. Re- re-decriminalized or whatever. No, re-criminalized. <laughs> what the you hell? You can't is... re-decriminalize. What to your hand? Don't try to move the conversation <laughs> from the stupid I don't comment. know. Yes, I did, re- I did read that. Yeah, yeah. Re-decriminalized. So now you do get a fine, but that fine goes to, to helping you out, which I think which, is a good thing. Yes. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. What do y'all but think who are that they, live out there? Who that is paying the fines for doing illegal can actually afford to pay. Anyway, what do you mean? there's a lot. Like, okay, if you are doing like illegal drugs, you're on the street, but how are you going to pay a fine? Probably not, but exactly. you still, you can't make it kosher. What I Making know. it kosher is what turned Portland into a trash dump. Oh, recalled. That's from Kevin Halterman. Yeah. He recalled it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Back to our Big cities. Big move. Big move. Anyway. We so. got Dina Tosto hanging out in Buford in Georgia. Up, Dina hey. made some uh, huh. bomb looking um, stuffed tomatoes and peppers. Oh, it's oh. one of oh, my favorite things. Oh, you love things. those dishes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I also heard in like Conyers, um, Georgia peeps let us know there was like some serious tornadoes. Like there was a tornado on the ground oh, last night. Nah. So I, like, I knew, Anybody get good pictures? I, I don't know. I knew like weather was going to be bad like in Nashville, but yeah, it went Not all the way good. to the ATL. <laughs> yeah. Not so good. ATL area. So yeah, just checking in on you guys. So somebody else had a, a great uh, little drop as we were talking a few minutes ago. I couldn't find it, though. Oh, who didn't see that coming? Oh, oh. a little D-drop. Yeah, I think, did I erase all his drops? Oh, no. I might have, I just we because. Were... But then, then we became, like, friends again. Yeah, well, you are. No, I got him. Good. Yeah, I can't get rid of I no. can't get rid of all D's drops. Come mm-hmm. on. Come on, now. Back to roll call? Yes. We got Bootleg73, Milwaukee, with okay. an I-E. We got 305, Yesy, and Kissimmee. Kissimmee. Oh. It's, like, it's Kissimmee, right? Oh, I don't know. I like never lived in Florida. I don't know. It looks like Kissimmee. Kissimmee, huh? Florida. We got uh, Kareen. How you feeling? Remember, she had got. Uh, yeah. yeah she got, uh, you were uh, under the, the weather on Saturday. How yeah, are you doing? How you doing? How better? are you? Kareen joined in from Flowery Branch. We got Tom Gurner, Gurner Fam in Central Point, Oregon. Nelly I saw from Tom the ATL. Was, uh, Doing some uh, online classes to uh, learn Python, which is Python. I've tried to teach myself Python like four times. What the hell is I, Python? I get to I get to like a wall, yeah. uh, you know. Like I, I I feel always really confident in the beginning, and then I get to like this wall of like okay, the, my understanding just kind of plateaus, mm. Mm. and it's like such a it's like music. Yeah, you reach a certain point to where it's so difficult to get past that point. Are you but talking about always good. playing it? No, I'm talking about Python. It's very difficult. I'm I, wishing you the best. Okay. So I still don't know what it is. It's I not know. a snake. I, I don't know why I'm talking to you about it's Python. It's not a snake. <laughs> I <laughs> know. Uh, keep it in it with the real call. Charlene is in Clackamas. We got Bradley Hall driving on 288 to pick up the kids. He is in good old what? Texas. Texas. Uh, <laughs> uh, we Little got Texas. Texas. Uh, yeah. Again, Anita. We got Kelly and Visalia. I'm sorry. My, my foot, I think I got bit. So I'm like itching my toe. It seems very awkward. Yeah. Uh, I also see uh, Stockbridge, Georgia. We got Freddie Ortiz in there. Dina saying that an EF2 tornado touched down. Nothing bad oh, here. Good. Um, T. Rowe joining us. Brian Racer. Rizzo. Oh, my God. Made it live. Hey, guys. What's up? How y'all doing? <laughs> James Rees in Spokane, Washington. We got everybody. All right. Very nice. We're going to play match two tonight uh, as well coming up in just a few minutes. But before. Yes. Don't forget it's Wine Wednesday. It is. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. It's Denise's Wine Wednesday. 
you don't know nothing about wine except that it make her feel good. Oh yeah. No credentials. Denise's Wild Wednesday. The following information gonna be pointless. Oh yeah. She don't even remember the wine tasting she's been to. Why, girl? This wine tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, is it someone you stole? Oh my God! You ruined yeah. you ruined my tease. There's no tease. What do you got to tease? That you stole the I wine? I didn't steal the cri- wine. Guess who's the criminal I on the didn't show? I did steal the wine. Wait five minutes and I'll let you know. Okay, so after work of 12 hours, PK's like, oh yeah, we got to go to HEB. She went to put it right up her vagina and walked out of the store. <laughs> yeah, the giant vagina. Oh, there's Whoa! kids. There's kids. Somebody pull that. Uh, so I qu- uh, Not the vagina. Oh my God. So I quickly ran in. I got like a chicken, rotisserie chicken, bananas, you know. My my meal throughout the day and the wine you stole and the wine and yeah. it was interesting because the bill rang up as fourteen ninety nine and then I was like hmm that must be a very cheap wine that's on discount whatever and then I get to the car I'm like shoot fourteen ninety nine this wine was on sale for like eleven ninety nine um Ooh. so I look at the receipt no oh, they didn't charge me whoopsies so, <laughs> I don't know why he asked for my ID. We've asked this before, Oopsies. but uh, if you ever accidentally stole something, drop me an instant voice note. I'd love to hear your story. Uh, I, accidentally. I mean. Accidentally. And at what point, also, drop us, uh, you know, your thoughts on this. At what point do you go back to pay? Like, in this case, how much was this one you said? Eleven ninety nine. You don't go back. And then also, we're on the side of town. You're not going like, to go back tomorrow to and pay. Then I'm like, H-E-B ain't going to miss it. And I was like, how awkward would it have been, like, I go to like the then be like hey you didn't charge me for the wine and then the guy would have gotten in trouble the guy would have got written up like now you're just making excuses uh, for stealing the wine okay i'll send you to california and find you a walgreens to rob next fabulous chloe uh pinot grigio it is out of italy um it's usually too expensive over the 15 dollar range which is why i don't ever buy it unless it's on sale for free all right happy happy wine (laughs) I saw somebody in the chat was talking about they're going to get trashed tonight. Why? And then they were like, apologies, I'm just going to hit it hard. And I was like, you never have to apologize here. This is a, 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 you know, we don't. We don't judge. Don't, Judgment-free zone. Don't block your blessings from Anita. Yeah. I was like, you guys yeah. always to make, you know, yeah. when I get lemons, make lemonade. And instead, I just made Pinot Gris. It's the second time you've said that. And I don't think you're using that phrase properly. Oh, okay. Well, anyway. If life gives you lemons means that something bad happened. Yeah. Something good happened for you. You stole the wine. Because I got wine. lemonade. <laughs> yeah. You're not, you don't have to uh, make lemonade. You already got the lemonade. You stole it. That's what you did. Stole On it. On that note, it starts with an E. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Yeah. Sticky finger D over here. <laughs> <laughs> here, uh, everything's free. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's a half. <laughs> that, renamed it. Uh, but again, for everyone 21 and up that's joining a Wine Wednesday, yeah, there cheers, you go. cheers to you guys. And if not, cheers to you for just joining us and being lovely people. All right. Cheers, my love. Give him one second. Cheers to you. To my professional photographer. Oh, again with that, huh? Again with that. I thought I had you a good job today. I really did. I think you're. Hmm. What do we think? Uh, I mean, I've had it before. I yeah. like it. I still like it. It tastes even better because you stole it. Yeah. Um. So yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. Thank you. A little applause for that. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. You almost got me a gig today. I did. I thought I did. I was so excited. It's so hard for me to find I a job. Know. Like I'm. I'm like, I'm, what am I doing wrong? Like I. Th- I feel like you're overqualified. I guess. Is that a thing? Too I don't old? Know. Overqualified? Too old? It's like, man, just time to hang it up, I guess. But um, uh, so you called me, yeah, which never happens during the day, and I'm uh. like, oh, this is what what happened? Did she like yell at somebody and get fired? <laughs> Scared too much? <laughs> and then you're like, hey, yeah. uh, how much would you charge? Yeah, and I want it to be like, are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> I'll go volunteer a dollar. <laughs> yeah, and they got me for a week. Like at this point, anything. Right. Um, so uh, you had lined me up with. Which was to take pictures for this group, but the awesome part oh, of it. And sorry, any, sorry, the, I got a donation from Dina, and we always oh, say, "Oh shit, yeah, we need those donations." We do. Hold on a second. <laughs> By the way, yes, any and all donations definitely appreciated. Is some of the stuff that we use uh, coming up for our renewals. Like I said, the uh, the wirecast that we use. Yes. That came up, but it hasn't gone into demo mode yet, so okay. I still have that 100 that we raised okay. in the account for the day that it says this is a Wirecast demonstration. Demo. Right. Um, but we have our instant voice notes. That's coming up, and there's a few other things. So, you know, if you can spare a few dollars, we'd appreciate it. What's the comment this say? This is from Dina. Always room for y'all at my table, fam. Aww. 
very sweet of you, Dina. Thank you. She is the sweetest. And I've got a get. Uh, by the way, I also got your instant voice note that you told me not to play, uh, and it was very sweet. So thank you. What was I saying? Oh, so the job. So you, you lined me up a job, yeah. and then uh, so I was kind of excited about that. I was more excited because anybody that knows me knows that like I have just a crazy fascination with space. I always yeah. wanted to be an astronaut. My dad said I was too dumb, so I gave up on that dream. It turns out I was actually too fat to ever go up. Oh my god, you um, weren't always fat. I but mean, this not- job was to take pictures at the hotel, but then also to take yeah. pictures. At yeah. like NASA or something, uh-huh. right? Yeah, and then yeah, there was a bunch like of like NASA party. people speaking. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, I know. dude, I was hyped. I was, I was so hyped. excited and ready they're, to they're go. Like, the only thing last minute we need, and I was like, you know what? I I have someone, and you you trusted me, and I trust in this person, and he's taken pictures before, and does a lot of video. Like I tell you, he's talented because he's my husband, but he really is, and I can show you some of his work. She's like, okay, well, ask him if he can do this much money, and I said, okay. Well, do you think he's... So she, she calls me. She was yeah. like, how much did you charge? And I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, like nothing. I can do it for free, really. Yeah. She was like, uh, would 1500 be okay? And I'm like, oh, uh, you know, I can make it work. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, let me hold sure. on. Let me get back to you. But I think I can pull some strings to make it work. Uh, and then she told me the NASA thing. And I'm like, just cloud oh, no. like nine. Because I was like, I have, I'm like, I'm also going to be working that same time, like doing things. So I don't like, give a fuck about that. It'll be perfect. But like, PK do his thing. I do my thing. And then I'm like, yeah, we both make money and still kind of work back together again. I thought it was like, dream come true. Two and hours then, later, she's like, you know, we went with a student. So yeah. uh, we're not going to be needing you. And I'm like, like, oh. A, yeah. a student. I'm like, a student a, a of student. what? Yeah. A student a of photography? I don't know. I don't know. I was like, I'm going to ask her tomorrow. I'm like, you know, it would have been better sure? if she just said, hey, we actually have somebody. We, sorry. The like, fact that she said we went with a student really re- reaffirmed and just put me like where in, in life I'm at. We're <laughs> oh. getting a student over your boy. Oh. That's, that's where. But I did take some, I don't know. Um, well, he told me I could show these. On the podcast, though? Yeah, he did say okay. that. I, I mean, it's not bad, right? Is it bad? Like, it's I not don't... bad. You are wearing Pole Man shirt, so. I did some uh, some pictures for the Pole Man. Yeah. Let me see if I can bring him up. Um, I guess the Pole Man's uh, wifey uh, had a friend that had some pictures. So if you're not in Texas, uh, this time of year, we have a lot of weeds that grow into what people love called the blue bonnets. They're, they're amazing. Blue bonnets. It's, yeah. Very pretty. It's like, like you spread like wildflower seeds everywhere. And like when the blue bonnets all pop up, it's a state flower, I think. I'm sure. I'm sure it is. Is it blue just bonnets a te- Is blue bonnets just a Texas thing? I mean, it's so that's, hot. That's, it's like something that's got to come out of that heat. It is the only thing I know of about Because we didn't have them in, in Atlanta, Texas. right? And like uh, uh-huh. Oregon didn't have them. Yeah. So anyway, um, so the pole man's wifey had a friend that, um, because they just had a kid, and did some pictures with the blue bonnets. So yeah. she was like, hey, can you take some pictures of the blue bonnets? Yeah. So I'm um, talking to Paul man, and I'm like, dude, for sure, you want to you wanna definitely do it like in the morning, sunrise or sundown. You let me know when, we'll do it, right? So he hits me back, and he was like, let's do it tomorrow at noon. <laughs> or like 11. Uh-huh. I'm like, dude, that's the worst lighting ever. Um, but uh, but we went out there, and here, I'll, uh, this, is, this is what... This is what came. This is what I was able to. Yeah. I mean, she's so like so adorable. adorable, right? Like. Yeah. Oh, no, you're showing his face. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Oh. Let's, get past, <laughs> let's get past that. There's one of my I'm, favorite I'm pictures. I'm sure everybody knows at this point during our live shows when That's he's over. So Isn't she adorable? Sweet. Oh, I know. I love her. I don't want to share. I don't know. I don't uh, well, I'm trying to find the her, one. But, this yeah. is the. Where's the one with the eyes? Yeah, this one. This is this is my favorite one by, by far. Yeah. Like how adorable. <laughs> like if I was them, if we had a kid, if you ever get pregnant, <laughs> uh huh, and we actually have a child, and we were lucky enough to get a photo where yeah. she or he's covering his eyes, because yeah. we're looking cute. That's going up on the wall. Aww. Uh, but that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Well, see, and you did great. You were all on your own for that one. Yeah. I was supposed to help, but where where was I? Oh, what did uh, I, have to do? I don't know. Oh, my hair. It's, 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 yeah, yeah, that's all right. It's uh, par for the course at this point. <laughs> so anyway, that's what happened with that. Uh, well, how did we get talking about? Oh, another donation. Oh, hold on a second. Here we go. I'm gonna start bringing the bong gong dong a little closer to the microphone. Hey, Zeus. Hey, Zeus. For Jesus. But I didn't see any comments that says I have to open up my app. For Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for Jesus. I'm opening up the app. Sorry, give me a second. I want to read the comment if there is a comment. You got to keep talking. Well, no, I was, uh, I was just thinking about a few things, but, uh, yeah. So anyway, that's what's going on. That's what's going on over here. 
Um, I really tried hard to get you that gig. No, I thought I thought you. It's gonna come. Something's gonna come soon. First of all, I appreciate it. Second, I thought it was uh, it was very cute that you were almost more excited than I was. I was more excited about uh, the the actual possibility of listening to like the heads of NASA and stuff talk. <laughs> I like probably would have screwed it up I because like, I would have been more not, watching them than taking pictures. So like you're not invited for that part. You're just invited to well, be the I'm photographer. In, I'm in, right? You're, but yeah, but I'm saying. Yeah, if you're in, you're paying attention. <laughs> like if the world ends and you're already oh, in there, you oh. jump on the rocket. For something random, PK, hold your breath for 30 seconds. That's what he said. I could easily do that. All oh, right. I, I've topped off at like five minutes, I think. Five minutes? Hold your yeah, breath? Yeah, but that's Are only if I'm doing my exercise. Uh, exercises. An exercise? <laughs> no, I need to do I don't know if I, without <laughs> doing my exercises, I don't know if I can do it. That's that's pretty difficult. All right, hold on. Okay, are we doing it now? Or yeah, are we I mean, if down? that's what he wants to do, that's do what he wants to do, y'all. Do we all have to be quiet for 30 seconds? No, or? why don't you hold it down? I'm sure you got something oh, riveting. Sure, I got something to say. So Stopwatch, for, all right. Okay. I really don't think I could do it without my exercises. With it, not yeah. a problem okay. in the world. Are you counting down? Because I do have a few uh, things to say. Yeah, I'm going to go right now. And, okay, so producer Ilya, it starts with an E up in the chat. Just as, uh, set my peeps, PK with a quarter zip. That is correct. However, it is not PK's quarter zip. And this is the third time that he's worn it. It is the pole man zip. He's actually washed it for him. May or may not have a stain, but he still is wearing the zip. And that is, yeah, there is a stain. The pole man doesn't want that back. You just got to give a new one at this point is what I'm saying. So anyway. It's been 30 seconds yet. No, oh, we still got in three, in two, in one. Good job. All right. Hey, Fucked up. What? Why would you bring that up? Because I had 30 seconds to share Especially something. right where, there. Where, that's the perfect point. You couldn't talk back. For the record, uh, yeah, we were out and it was kind of chilly. <laughs> oh. And then he was like, here, you just borrow this. And I borrowed it. I really liked it. Uh, so, so I came back and washed it for him to give it to him. Uh, but then I did see him, but I didn't have it with me. He was on the counter. And then today it was kind of chilly. 56 so degrees in the morning. I put it on again. It was already there. I put it on, mm -hmm. and then I thought I got some water on it. But I think it's a stain because <laughs> it's okay. been there the entire day. Yeah. I don't even know where it's from. Yeah. I can't even tell you where it's from. <laughs> I mean, look Chicken, at, I think, look maybe. At, no, the stain? Yeah. I was going to say, look at the tag because you got to buy him a new one. No, I'll get the stain out. Okay. I think just oxy, yeah. OxyClean it. Oh, sure. You got a stain? OxyClean it. So yeah. you attempted to wipe the stain from my... One of my jackets, because, you know, you're doing, you're helping out with the, the chores and the yeah, laundry and stuff. pretty good. And you're like, yeah, I scrubbed it and scrubbed it until the pen came out. And then I went to put on the jacket and the pen line's still there. I'm like, what the hell did you do? <laughs> you didn't clean it. You didn't clean it. You got an F. I feel like <laughs> y'all women do this all the time. Like, when we try, you need to give us a pass. Like, when you try, we give you a pass. Uh, you know what I mean? We're like, oh, you did great. Okay, yeah. but if I like fold your laundry incorrectly, I don't get a pass. I don't complain. Have I ever complained did, about I, how you fold I, I my laundry? I made the bed today. Once. I don't. Did I get a pass? Why did you? I actually got mad that you made the bed. You shouldn't be making the bed when you're out there working. Uh -huh. That's my duty. Oh, I was sweet. angry, very happy, yeah. secretly down inside. I didn't have to make the bed. <laughs> Those are the arguments PK and I have. Yeah, that's where we're at. Uh -huh. um, we are going to play match two. I know I said that a little while ago, but I want to get ready for that. And then um, you were going to quiz me with yeah. the dumbest question of all time. Well, I wanted to post to the chat. Do we still got, well, I guess it kind of worked when you and Ryan were back and forth. But it was like the you versus the ch and the chat can all like comment. I think I know because you asked me. Yeah. And without giving it any kind of well, thought why don't we or give, looking it up. Do you have the countdown, like the timer? Yeah. So maybe I can pose the question and see what people are guessing. We can go and then like for the final guess, you can sum it up and give the best guess. I think they're going to the guess it right answer. away. Okay. Well, maybe I'm an idiot and it okay, brings yeah, up you're a pretty good, stupid. it gives a, a, something else to talk about if I'm right. Okay. Did you just pick up an accent there? Yeah, what what is the that, question? That was we annoying. won't do a time. We'll do like a uh, made up time. Go. Okay. All right. The question. Let me pull it up. And don't look it up. Just put it in the, uh, in, in the chat. A third of Americans One don't third. know that what can damage eyes one more time say it again a third of americans don't know that what can damage eyes okay okay go ahead and throw it in the chat i don't think anybody is i'd be really surprised if somebody doesn't get it mm -hmm. if it's, i'm being it's, honest it's with specific you. it's an action yeah there's a hint yeah corrine already got it so does the uh, charlene oh oh well tom tom came with lasers out of nowhere um Tissues. Dina came out of left field with tissues. Tissues? What are you doing with tissues in your eyes, Dina? What? Oh, I guess maybe you have makeup and you're taking it. I can see that being a thing. Eye tissues? Well, I can see tissues. If okay. maybe you're taking makeup off. Crying? 
Uh, crying. That's a, that's. Oh, yeah. looking at lasers because Tom builds lasers for a living. Yeah. Okay. What I else? mean, yes, but that's not what they're going for. It's the eclipse, right? Uh, Contacts. The, people are still guessing. PK. Half but, the chat's already got fine, it. Yes, yes. People. They're like, oh one yeah, third of that's an easy clickbait article that every single one news station is doing now. Don't know viewing a solar eclipse. That's how you know the Correct news is eye dead. protection can cause permanent permanent eye damage. That's the, no, I no, no. know the news is dead. Not They're true. All doing the same stupid. Not true because oh, well, I'm stupid now because this is my Not story. You, the news people. But last time that we had it, what like last year? You know, I brought one pair of solar eclipse glasses, and then I had everyone because I was working at um, the fitness studio, and then I was like, look, but don't look up like without protection because people are like I don't see it. I'm like, stop doing that. And then I gave them the glasses, and they're like, oh, so they didn't know. Speaking of you solar, you're the ones with dumb people. Speaking of eclipse, I want everybody to know how saddened you are to report about Monday's weather. Go on, PK. This will be your 30 seconds. Uh, there's nothing to say, really. There's well, nothing what's to happening? Say. Everybody knows I'm not very religious, but this is, this is, <laughs> I'm not very religious unless like something happens to me, like I get hit by a car and I'm like, oh God, please don't let me go. Oh. You know, that's when, you know, or when something like this happens, I want to curse him. Be like, mother effer, really? Yeah. You're going to make it cloudy? All the way to fucking New England? Are you kidding me right now? Like, I can't drive seven hours to get a break in the cloud. I'm happy to drive seven. I'm happy to drive 15 hours. New England's the only place that's going to be clear. And they're, they're, they're saying that the forecast moves every day, and it's kind of yeah. hard still to predict out there. Still but by now, it's getting closer and closer, and it's becoming more, more real. More and more cloudy. That the entire effing state of Texas. The great state of Texas. And what's above it? Oklahoma? Oklahoma, uh -huh. unless he's wrong, <laughs> covered in clouds oh. all the way up to like the uh, Indiana or something. Oh. It's it's devastating. It's dev And on top of that, what makes it really devastating is it's not just a solar eclipse. It, it happens it's last, the last time, one until 2034. Right? Not even that. In 2017, oh. when it happened, when we saw it, it was right, amazing, that's yes. when the sun was because the sun goes through seasons and it's either really active or just dead. Right. When we saw it last time, oh. it was kind of it was in the it was, dead zone. It was like summer, right? Right. Now it's very active. It's the active season. How is That's this? why you always get news stories about like, oh, transmissions are about to go well, out because it's of also solar like flares. Mercury is in retrograde currently. I don't but give a F about that. I know you don't. But That's some psycho voodoo th shit. That is astrology. Yeah. yeah. Out of here. Uh huh. My point being. But why is the sun active now? Like, what does it mean? Like, it's hotter? It's colder? It's it a season. It has a heartbeat? It's a season. There's more like uh, flares and stuff going out. Oh. Which, when the moon gets in front of it, the yeah. only thing you see is the outer atmosphere Correct. of the sun. That's the only time you can see it. And if you have flares, it looks even that much oh, more amazing. And on top like of that, rays? on top of that, if you do happen to be somewhere that you can see it, take your, uh, take your hand, make a fist, right? Kind of like if you're going up, make a fist like, uh, I don't know, 11 o'clock. And then on the other side of the fist, there's also a fucking comet. Oh. You know what I'm going to see? Clouds. Uh -huh. Thanks, Jesus. The whole state of Texas God, is going to see clouds. Me. What about Georgia not in totality? Nah. Oregon's not in totality. It's no. it's like Texas also, all the way up to like New England area. I don't want to talk to anybody that's like at 99% and I thought could travel to 90. go to 100. Yeah. 99 yeah. and 100%, the difference is game changing. It's yeah. not just a little percentage. It's game changing. So make the effort if you have clear skies and go. But I'm watching the weather every day. Every day comes out at 2 p.m. Oh. And every day it's getting worse. Okay. Because I see it at 7 a.m. I get a yeah. little, little blurb, if you will. A little notification oh, on my that? phone. Um, I've got some uh, instant uh, voice notes that came in uh, throughout the show. These might be guesses, though. See, the problem is, is that if we're playing them real time, I don't yeah. know what they're, if they have a comment. Or what if they say some bad words? Maybe they have bad oh. words. Okay. Uh, maybe. Uh, I say let you know. it fly. Uh, but maybe also some guesses for what's that noise. Let's listen to this. Okay. Um, I'm going to guess a couple more guesses. Uh, for this one, I'm going to say a popcorn machine. Hmm. Said air fryer, so now I'm saying popcorn machine. Okay. Okay. No, that's. Uh... You want to play it? Okay, my last guess oh, for right oh, now okay. is fire of some sort. So fire pit mm, or a fireplace. No, that's not it either. I'm no. going to say fire pit. No, no. I love the guesses, though. Yeah, great guesses. Keep them coming. 
Uh, and uh, obviously, you can leave yours online at pkndk.com. Hit the Ivan button. They'll come right to us. Um, I love Dina's comment. Let's raise money for PK to fly to New England. Yeah, right. That's going to happen. <laughs> um, oh, stop with the negativity. I know. It just breaks my heart. It really, honestly, like, I can't tell you the last time. I was this disappointed at something that I couldn't help. It's like one thing if you can help it, because again, if I can drive ten hours to see it, I would. But I can't. They, they, like that got taken away from. Yeah. Me. It's not like, oh, just get on the road and go. And also, if it's, if it's only New England, then you know everybody that was going to come to Texas and everywhere else is going there. Oh my god. Which means it's going to be even crazier. Or, or remember how everything had sold out because I like you know a lot of like. The, yeah, all those people. The joke. What same about with the like people? solar yeah. eclipse parties and all the people. Like, remember we like to stay at those getaways, and they had been completely sold out because of you know the eclipse. Yeah, and it still will be cool if you're in totality and it's cloudy because then everything will go dark like Are you still, night, night dark. Yeah, not kind of dark, but it'll be nighttime, right? So it's still really cool, even if you don't really see it, like but in, not nearly. In as Houston, like, what is it? Is it ninety eight or something? It doesn't matter. Yeah, that's that still nothing. doesn't that's matter. Garbage. Garbage. Oh. Um, I did have uh, one more instant Great. Well, that's what I get to watch because I got to work. Yeah, well. Like the rest of us. <laughs> I can't drive 12 hours. Joke's on you. One uh-huh. more instant voice note. Bro, Bro, 4310. Denise does the Bernie Mac laugh. <laughs> Check it out. No. Please post. I think he was talking. 40? Oh, God. Oh, God. Ew. I think he I'll was talking wasted. about Saturday show. Yeah, 4310. Uh, I mean, I can't not bring it up, right? You got to bring it up. All right. Um, I'm going to start this at 42:33, okay. assuming that we're on the same time sync, which I think it should be. If I'm just going right off of uh, the YouTube, uh, but let's listen to your Bernie Mac laugh. Have you ever ran into an ex yeah. unexpectedly? Well, yeah, yeah. And then he decided to be like friends with you. He's like, "Oh, PK, I love you," and it was really uncomfortable. I'm a good guy. Uh, yeah, but yeah. I, uh, yeah, it was at a club and oh, in the Portland. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, is this the guy that you left in Rome? Was he that guy? No, 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 no. That guy that doesn't talk to me anymore. Yeah. No shit. I wouldn't either. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a different guy. Uh, and, and another one. Wow. Another one. I got many. And another one. <laughs> yeah. But okay. Now we're getting close. Now we're 43 minutes. Yeah, right. So you... 43 10. 43 10. That, what he said. That wasn't it just now. I don't think so. Because that sounded like a laugh. Let me go back. Hold on. Bro. 4310. Okay. Denise does the Bernie Mac laugh. <laughs> Check it out. All right. Please post. Uh, yeah. And he was like, oh, yeah, goodness. Oh, PK. Oh, God, I love you. I'm like, of course. Everyone loves PK. All right. You guys be bros. Change numbers. Uh, <laughs> I think we've got to tell drinks and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good. Oh, I see. I've heard better from her, but <laughs> respect. Wow. Good looking out. Uh-huh. Because I miss a lot of these moments. So, yeah. like, if you guys can be on it, then I can oh, absolutely Lord. pull them. So, that was almost there. Uh-huh. I should find all your Bernie Mac laughs that you had from back I, in the day. That's what, I didn't really, I thought it was just my own laugh. I didn't realize you guys titled it something different. No, it's a Bernie Mac laugh. Okay. That, yeah, you know. I mean, let's okay. compare. This is the actual Bernie Mac laugh. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty fucking on point. <laughs> you know? Uh, and now, some noises of birds. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> oh, it's the best. So let's see what these bad boys bring to the party. Roll it. Take the PK and the DK show. Your average everyday cop oh, fight and makeup on YouTube. Welcome to our dysfunctional life. I love playing these things. It gives me a second to catch up with the chat. It was the seal laugh. That's what I used to call it. I'll see if I can find it for next Wednesday oh, the show. Seal, the seal is like, like yeah. yeah. That's embarrassing. That's like something real funny. Why do I not have that right in front of me? I feel like I do. I just... Use your brain, baby. I need to use my brain, yeah. Yeah, I'll have to find it for uh, for next week's show. <laughs> what? <laughs> just just your just your laughs. Your oh. laughs are great. Oh, um, thanks. I need to make a formal apology to Denise. For me? Yeah, because usually you're the dumb one in the relationship, and this uh, time it was me. Oh, my God, I'm not dumb. I'm, yeah. I I need more wine for this. Yeah. Well, I'm apologizing. Oh, thank God. So What this, happened? Don't give it away. Well, you can't. It doesn't matter. Uh, April 2nd, very important to Oh, know. God. You dick. Oh. Wow. April 2nd, y'all. I'm scrolling through my news feed or whatever, and I, I run across this article, and um, it's about the beavers. Uh-huh. Um, also joining uh-huh. uh, the Pac-10. Pac. 
12, well, no, it's, Pac-12, it, it's who, now who like the Big Ten. Big Ten. I don't know. Ten. I don't know. I'm so com- I'm so lost, y'all. Because they because they with the Ducks from the Pacific Northwest, they were in the Pac-12, right? Uh-huh. All right. But now um, they're in the Big Big Ten. Big Ten is where big. the Ducks went. <laughs> Big Ten. Whatever. Right. I saw this article. It was like, um, they finally, they, you know, they, they were trying to hold strong, but they were like, screw it. There's, uh, you know, they realize they're going to be left behind, so they joined the conference or whatever. And in PK fashion, I just read the headline, maybe the first half sentence, and I'm like, oh, Denise will care because uh, he's the sports person in this relationship. So I send her the article without even finishing it. She sends it. That's really your fault. Uh-huh. I, I'm retracting my apology. You should read the articles that you send to people. You're what's the problem with the internet. Oh, Nobody finishes reading the article. They immediately want to comment and send it to people. That's what you did. And then, uh, so I'm like, I didn't realize it was April Fool's. I just sent it to her and forgot about it. And then fast forward to 2 p.m., she starts blowing me up about how the people that she sent it to are now <laughs> calling her dumb because they're <laughs> yeah. like, hey, stupid, this was an April yeah. Fool's Day joke so, from yesterday. But, so Yeah, again, this is yesterday, Tuesday, April 2nd. PK sends me the article titled, The Oregon State Beavers Are Following Their Big Brother to the Big Ten. And I send it to, like, Everybody. my brother and my sister-in-law. And, like, Rose is always in the chat. Love her to death. But she's a Beaver fan. And uh, nobody needs to know I went to Oregon State, so sh- sh- the secret's out. But anyway, so I... Rose ain't loyal. Not at all. Uh, but I've been, like, an Oregon Ducks fan from like 2005 onward. So I was like, oh my God, the rivalry lives on, you know? And then my brother sends me a message back. He goes, that article's from April 1st. And I'm like, so? <laughs> it's a day old. Sorry, I'm not on my news. He goes, oh. April Fools. I'm like, gosh, big ache. <laughs> I'm like, dang it. <laughs> there was a couple of April Fools jokes that got me. Uh-huh. You know, the only ones that got me this year was uh, just because I guess I don't have contact with a lot of people anymore, but it was. Uh-huh. Just stupid articles, because there was another one where... It's only the internet's getting you now? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's sad. There's one article... Well, this happened before April, and this isn't an April Fool's joke, but Red, the camera brand, which yeah. I was in love with, as still am, sold to Nikon. It's a lot of people are like, oh. And it to me, it broke my heart, because Red is like this underground cinema camera, and then it sold to, you know. So fast forward to April, the first article that got me, it said that DaVinci Resolve, which is a computer program I used for like editing and, and color correcting, yeah. that it sold to Adobe which is the other computer editing program. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Because, again, it's like the independent underground, like the, my favorite one got sold to the big one that kind of sucks. And then, like, that article I did read because I was so mad. I got to the yeah. end of it. And I'm like, don't forget the date. And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> God, they got you. And then the beaver thing got me. I, yeah, well, it didn't get you. It got me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. I got me, too. I uh, got another donation. Oh, hell yeah. Come on. <laughs> The comment is Who loves the show? Anita. God damn right. 713 Anita. Not, oh, she goes, for not a lot, but don't block your blessings. Anything helps. Thank you. What does that mean? Don't block your blessings. How I got this her free tonight. Oh, yeah. That's (laughs) good. Anita, I love you. Thank you. Is that a southern phrase? I feel like it is. Don't block your blessings. I've not ever heard that that. once before, but I enjoy it. Yeah. I I also love, I really love southern names. Like, Where the middle name is part of the first name. Okay. You know, like, like Daisy May. That's cute. Like, you don't hear that, like, on the... Are you talking about Bachelor Girl? Uh, oh, no, no she's, our just, first, she's just Daisy. I'm just talking about, like... In yeah, general. Just okay. in general. Like, I love Southern names because they kind of, like, incorporate the middle name. Maybe they don't. Like, the people maybe don't. Like, Denise Diane. That's ugly, though. What's I mean, no. my fucking... Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't... That's my name! That's my name! Sorry, but I that doesn't go together. It's not a that's, good Southern name. Because I'm from Oregon. Yeah. <laughs> you can't use both of those. That's PK Colensis. Paniotti Anastasios. I'm Greek. You uh-huh. can't put those two together either. Paniotti Anastasios Taki. Vomit. <laughs> I can't yeah. believe you Charlene said. Sue. I can't believe Or Charlene believe Sue. Yeah, you that's a perfect example. That goes to uh, Dina Marie. <laughs> yeah, see, I don't know why, but I'm really, I really love that. Uh-huh. I can't PK's in trouble. Yeah. I yeah, you trouble. think so? You said my name was ugly. <laughs> no, I love your first name. Your middle name sucks. Okay, it's the same name as uh, my mom, my aunt, and grandma. It doesn't make it any better. It's still, it's, it's, it's still trash. It's in the family. Diane? Yes. I'm how not a it, big fan of the Diane. How could it be in the family from my mom and then my aunt, who is like from they different were all parents? Drunk. No, my mom and my aunt aren't related. They are married and then they're. Okay, well, I don't know, but that's up there with like. Okay. 
mm-hmm. Alexa, Siri, and uh, you know, really old names that I would. Uh, oh, shit, oh my god! Down. Sorry, just stop. Just uh-huh. turn off. Can you turn off? Just turn <sighs> off. Thank you. I can't believe you just said that. She's, I don't know if anybody else is having this problem, but my A, I'm not going to say the whole name, but she's starting to respond when I'm not using her name way more often now. Like, and I'll hear her in different ones in different rooms. Like, this one won't go off, but the one in the bedroom will. And I'm like, I didn't say your name. Like, what the hell's going on here? Anyway. Uh, Gosh, now you got me looking at names. Abigail May. Yeah, Abigail May is a good one. Amber Dallas. Mm, that's good. I don't Avery know. Avery Faith. I, mm, that's really good, too. Autumn Bell. That's, Ooh, that's, that's cute. a good Southern name. Yeah. Oh, I like I like that one. Not saying that we're having kids. Yeah, but what's, I like uh, that what's one. going on with that? Are you um you pulled the goalies, the we goalie for, back in front of the no, goal? For, what's happening? For two months, it's been out. It's been out. Two months, no action. Well, you, you where's m- the screaming guy? I need my own soundboard over here. You know how often you would screw up? There's a lot of fucking buttons over here, all right? You can't swear. Children are watching. Oh, I'm sorry. Mary Jo is a good one, too. Yeah. (laughs) I wonder if, like, one day I'm just going to become really old and hate the fact that I didn't embrace my Greek heritage more. What you do you know, mean? Why like, would you embrace it more right now? Uh, I don't know, because besides the food or what, like when it comes to <laughs> names, like I love the names of the South, like yeah. more than I like, like. Well, you don't know them. Uh, you look up a, a, a list of Greek names. They're garbage like mine. Well, they're not. That's Greek. It's a totally different language. Yeah, no, I don't but think I'm they're like, garbage. What's, what's music to my ears? Well, because you're Americanized. I guess. Yes, maybe. that's 100% why. But the food, I like Greek food more than, uh, you know, I'm like, you know. Tara Marie. That's not a Greek name. No. Oh, oops. I'm still. Yeah, like... no. You're not going to be able to pronounce the Greek names. The Greek. Remember the one time in Portland? Women names? Yeah. I went on the air in Portland. Don't take offense to Anastasia, this. Anastasia, Daphne. Oh, I like Anastasia. Chloe, Angelina, That's Athena. That's not Greek names. Sophia, Cora, oh, Cassandra. I take it back. I like Aleka. Those. Nope. Athena. Oh, you already said Athena, but. Oh, I said it twice. Iris, Artemis. Oh. All there right. Never mind. I'll take that back. Those are uh, solid, strong names. There you go. Solid, strong. I don't know how we got on the names thing, but there you go. How was everybody's Easter? Well, I love the food pictures, especially in Discord. The food pictures were were uh, phenomenal. Hey, if you don't know where our Discord is, how can you find it? Um, you can go to pkndk.com, and at the top, it's going to say Discord. You click that button, takes you right to Discord, join it. Perfect. Uh, it'd be nice if you did, is what I'm saying. It'd yeah, be that's, nice. how, that's how we all, like, communicate. Um, oh, very cute. I'm really uh, going to try to do I better. was going up to the, uh, the food. Uh, these are the stuffed peppers I was talking about. That's how fat I am now. Even on Mojerno, I still think about food. How was the last time you gave yourself that shot? Uh, two days ago, I think. Oh, my God. Uh, you did do it. Yeah, why? I didn't I'm think... getting better at doing okay. it now. Okay. Uh, at the beginning, I was very, I was a pansy, pansy boy. Mm-hmm. If I wasn't a pansy boy, I saw this Reddit um, thread that you can take uh, the, uh, the shots that they come because they're pretty expensive, right? But you could take it and they show you how you could take it apart and you get some solution from Amazon and then you mix it all together and stuff and then you can make like four cocktail? shots out of one to save money but the problem is is you have to actually use a needle the, the way that i do it now is you just put it on there you hit a button and it does it all i was so happy you finally do it by yourself now but if i could just get yeah. over my fear of needles i could separate it yeah. and then just save money and inject but i can't just inject an actual needle without just hitting the button hmm. you can't yeah. do the syringe part yet no no mm. chance i also if i do get to that point i'm not going to tell you or in this show that I'm actually doing it because she would just give me lectures. Uh-huh. Well, you, like, you know where that coming from? No, I was like, we have good insurance now. That's the whole yeah. reason. I mean, not the uh, entire reason, but one of the main reasons. You know, I'm working in it so much. So we can have good insurance that takes care of, you know. It's my turn. I'm taking care. I uh, put in our uh, YouTube chat, by the way, the link for Discord. So oh, nice. You are, yeah, join it. Yeah. And if you want to do PK and DK oh, Plus, I'm going to add that as well. Oh, look at that. Oh, Cinnamon rolls? I, yeah. I love cinnamon rolls. I mean, I just, I just, you know, I think I'm just, uh, I don't know if I'm just going through a fat phase again. I don't know. What's I think happening. that you didn't eat, you didn't eat today. I ate, yeah. uh, I ate lunch at what, five. And then I told the chef, and I was like, oh, that cheddar broccoli soup. Oh, it's so amazing. But it, but it missed the broccoli. And then he looked at me again, our chef, like, it was so offended. Like, well, who are you telling me <laughs> that I miss an ingredient? He goes, yeah, because it's not cheddar broccoli, it's potato leek. And I was like, oh, well, it still tastes good. <laughs> but I, I, got, I offended the chef. I'm like, great. 
That's like the last person you, you want to offend at, you know, I, I, in my I, I, industry. I got a question. Do you refer to him as Chef? Oh, always. I mean, yes. but you're not part of the kitchen crew. No, it's I always. I would just call him Tom or whatever. What's no, his name? it's Yes Chef. Mm, I was like, hey, what's up, Mike? No. Mm-mm. Uh, you almost say Chef. Put some respect you think... on that name. He's the chef and he yeah, creates but it. You're he's not. like, come take my, like, come try the food, come taste the food so I know, like, how to appropriately sell okay, it. Okay, what like... about customers? Well, yeah. Customers refer to him as Chef or can they yeah, go, like, yeah. hey, Bob? Ex- exec- no, Chef Alex. Yeah. <laughs> chef A. For sure. No, like, That's a title. Like, if you're, we, we know title. some friends that are doctors. Yeah. I don't go around calling, hey, doctor. Yeah, but I work with them. I don't say. But sh- that's what I'm saying. Is it because it's... you work with him? Like, if I run into him, yeah. I'm not calling him a chef, right? No, you don't know him. Okay. So it's, it's I... who works with him I or think under so. him? I mean. I don't know the etiquette of that. I, I never just, got to that Anthony whoever, Bourdain episode. Whoever talks. And, like, some people are like, you know, I met this. Uh, he's an engineer, Mr. Oro. I met him today. So I was like, all right. He likes to be referred to as certain ways. Like, you just address people. Some people say Miss Denise. Some people behind my back Mr. call me Deese. other names. Oh, yeah, that's what I call you. They're like, oh, you're so sweet. And now what happened? You're sour. Damn it, Peter, from uh, Peter. 01 Avagaza Jar. Did you ever stop going through a fat phase? Oh, yeah, that's kinda... that was the rest of the, uh, uh-huh. <laughs> I got to applaud that comment. Uh-huh. That was good now. Uh-huh. No, I can't help it. I don't know. Um, I had. Oh, I want to give a shout out real quick yeah. to Curtis Truman. Says uh, my little support. Which is never little, still have my plus accounts. Oh, hell yeah. Yes, thank you. I've dropped a couple of plus episodes. I'm gonna start doing some more. The problem with plus episodes is like I feel like I'm gonna go down like rabbit holes where people will either love me or hate me. Mm. So I'm trying to keep myself in check or just not care anymore. Just don't care. I mean, people love you for, I mean, that's like the traditional thing. They love you for you. But honestly, like when you were in radio in Portland, radio in Houston, when you could be your absolutely true self, like everyone loved that. And like when you post videos on, Instagram or whatever, people are like, oh, look at that. I would listen to them all the time. Well, just do that. People will listen. Also, they miss you. They need there, something there's, else. There's Every- nothing to talk about because I'm just at the house. There's been make this go experience things. Just yeah, get out there. I know, I know. Unfiltered PK. Is that that's what the people want? Well, I'll do some more. I'll I'll drop some more uh, plus episodes. Yeah. I did drop a few, so I was proud of myself. I forgot. It felt good dropping them too. I still you know? haven't listened. Uh, thanks a lot. Welcome. I'm just being honest. It's all right. I still haven't gone to her hotel. <laughs> um, I had one of you a few shows back send me a stupid news story, um, which I saved, and I never really went through it, but I have in front of me, so let's just go through it real right. Texas guy gets busted for marrying over 10 women. Why? Holy crap. Why would you do that? I don't, I, I don't understand why people have do that. Is it for money? Like- no, it's obviously for sex or, or, you know, but like... That only lasts so long, and then you just got yourself a second wife and then a third wife, and it's like, dude, you're Unless not ever learning. Unless they're trying to collect money from all of the women or something. You like, I don't so? understand. Or even if it's legal. Uh, it says a Texas man married at least 10 women from different states. Now he's going to prison. What Orlando Coleman mm. was pretending to be a bishop. Oh, I did see this. This is a really old story. I wonder if they just, um, it just made the rounds again. He was a bishop. I think he was... Um, it was a money grab, and he was a bishop. Yeah, remember that story? I Didn't do. That, that was on like news? on the news or something. Yeah, he traveled to different churches around the country. After tying the knot with each one, he would take a, uh, advantage of women for financial gain. It all came crashing down. Again, I'm reading this for the first time. When he went to the wrong Houston uh, native, she found checks from other women and did her own investigation. Ooh, that will get you. God, that just seems like so much work. So much work. I need to go back into our Facebook chat real quick. Yeah. Because we're also on our Facebook channel at PK and DK. Urel. Shout out. Hey, Hey, what's up, Urel? How you doing? Uh, It says, uh, we listen to them either way. Continue making them, PK. Oh, thank you, Urel. Yeah. You are very, very sweet. Thank you. And also in our Facebook, I see Antonio Vargas Jr. and Lucia Aguilar. So I wanted to give some How the hell are y'all? Yeah. Join the YouTube, and then that's the chat that we have right in front of us, but apparently you have the... You yeah, have that one there those. as well. I'm doing it all. I had a point counterpoint. Should I get to that? Let's do it. This was actually a question that got sent in, so I'll do my best to kind of keep anonymous. PK and DK's point, point counterpoint. We've got to do it. Well, you can't do my best to keep well, anonymous. Sometimes I you, slip. You either do or you don't. How many times did I slip last show where oh. I just like I had Ben on talking about the wrong Ben and oh. and then with your friend I had your friend on and I'm like oh all people are going to Madonna oh. and she was like I went. <laughs> oh my God Jesus my <laughs> fat mouth. Yeah big mouth. Go on. Can't help myself. Um, so I wanted to get your guys. Uh, let me skip through this. Okay. The other day I had a, a, a really busy 
day. I'm reading this slow in case he says something that's okay. going to give it away. Uh, took the kids to appointments, grocery shopping, help out the family. Husband worked the morning shift, uh, but not a full one. After I finished grocery shopping, I dropped off the groceries, put away the, uh, put away the groceries, I uh, prepped, uh, made casserole, and asked him, uh, asked him to heat up and put in the oven and set the timer, then took off again to finish uh, the last of my errands. Dinner was ready after I got back home, and at the time I was putting up the rest of the groceries, so skipped on eating and just handed the kids a plate real quick, then continued putting the groceries away. My husband asked where his plate was. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Didn't make the husband a plate. And I told him the food's in the oven. Oh, shit. Mm. There you go. There's some fighting words right there. Your food's in the oven? How about food's in the you? oven. How about thank you? Go ahead and grab Those one. Those are fighting words. He kept complaining about it and insisting, uh, and insisting I did it. Uh, so I asked him if he would put the groceries instead, which he didn't want to do. So I insisted he made his own plate. All night long, he kept making comments about it. I thought it was stupid, brushed it off. Well, that was uh, days ago. <laughs> and I asked him if he grabbed something out of the fridge for me. And he said, no, nah, you should have made me my plate the other night. Oh, oh shit. So oh. Woo. There you go. Guys, don't forget. The elephant never forgets. Mm -mm. Is that so? Apparently, he's still holding it against me. Yeah. Uh, I told my mom about it. My mama. She said, since I made the kids plates, it would have been easy just to make him one. The mom's on his side. I wanted to see if you guys can ask and get some people's opinions. Okay. What do you think? Well, ask the chat. Who's in the wrong? That is a point. Counterpoint, my friends. PK and DK's point, point counterpoint. counterpoint. All right. Put it in the chat. Are we on her side or his side? Her side or his side? What do you say? It depends. I, want, oh, uh, I mean, if I mean, is she is he saying like he worked so she needs to serve him? I think he's saying that he did work. Yes, yeah. he did a lot of errands, but he did work as well. But I'm I, if I had to go on a ledge without having him or her on the phone, I would guess that she was already making two plates. It's not really hard to just make a third but, one. Yeah. If you're not making it, you're doing it out of. Uh, yeah, like, out of protest. Yeah, like there's something going on. I, I think for me personally, it's not going to be the thing everyone wants to say. Like, I always want everyone to eat, like, as a family, and I want everyone to. Uh, so, like, I always uh, would make the point. meals. And so, like, I would be, like, offended if PK, I mean, if we had children or, like, other people, like, but let me fed you. everybody else and then didn't make me something. Yeah. We're, we're talking about, like, um, she so was still putting stuff away. So, she was under the assumption that they weren't going to eat together that night. Well, she should have asked him. Like, use your words. You still would have made him a plate? Yeah. I'm kind of. I'll be, be honest with you. you yes, I was. There just sounds like there's definitely miscommunication happening. Um, if she's I'm like, kind of on her side. Okay. I'm kind of. Well, uh, he did work, though, too. Oh, that's a tough one. I mean, it, I also don't think, like, because, like, he's working. So, yeah, physically going into a job versus she's still working as like a mom you know and doing groceries and taking care of the kids and making food and which is hard work so it's it's still like they're both doing the same thing but i just think that if it was me and i was cooking and already doing the kids i'd also be like do you want something yes and then we all said would together. it change your uh, mind if i was uh if i told you that she is the one that listens to the show not the husband sorry no i mean you asked for my opinion oh, well, that's some shit yeah. i'm definitely on your side baby mama let's let me go to the chat. Let's see oh, what the chat has to say. Okay. All uh, right. I'm Taba, wrong. Uh, uh, play on player. Uh, hell yeah, mama on his side. Oh. <laughs> uh, followed by Anita. Hit that. I think Anita's telling Taba to hit the mom. And oh, hit the, the, the like oh, button. Oh, the like button. Yes. <laughs> okay. Mean. Kareen, he'd be cooking all of his own meals from that point forward. She had it in the oven to keep it warm. He's a grown ass man. Okay. I see uh, that point, Kareen. Yes, it was in the oven keeping warm, so that is great. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, like I always cook enough for the world, but not on command. Okay. Um, uh, wife isn't his maid okay. from uh, Charlene. Char Charlene, yeah. Charlene. Oh, am I ever going to get her name correct? <laughs> yeah. Probably not. No, it's just probably. Uh, so, yeah, correct. So what, yeah. If, what if I did? I made you a plate. Uh, or no. Hey, don't turn this up. I off. didn't make you a argue. plate, but I just like, I, I made other guests plates. No, you know what you did do, though? What? Um, I took out some, I defrosted some meat because I was going to make a, a, a dinner for us, right? Um, but then she was supposed to be off at five, 
I picked her up at like eight or eight thirty because you worked. No, late. it was nine. But then in the you car, she's like, nine. You didn't make the meat. You didn't make the meat. I worked all day. You didn't make the meat. I, I worked did, all day. I did you say didn't that. fucking make the meat. I did say that. You walk home. You didn't make the meat. <laughs> yeah. Worked all day. What'd you do? What'd you do? Nothing. Just sat there <laughs> playing with your balls. Did nothing. Okay. I didn't. You didn't make me dinner. Hell no, I don't talk that way. So you know, I'm like, honey, I can't make you dinner tell. because I don't know when I need to leave the house. If I start making you dinner at six, mm-hmm. I was supposed to be there at five. So I'm just waiting for you to tell me to go pick you up. So I can't just, that ship has sailed. I'm not going to make the dinner earlier in the day because I'm going to have to heat it up. It's going to be just bad. I right? know, but I got to wait till you get home to make dinner. I'll make the dinner, but you got to wait home. But that's what's called meal prep. Like I did it like the weekend prior. Like I made like four different meals. And you're putting your nose up at me? Yeah. I cooked for you. That's the real point, counterpoint. <laughs> PK and DK's Point Point Counterpoint. I don't even need to ask, do I? Mm. Uh, PK, DK uh, needs her man to be housewife. I am, yeah. Uh, And make the meat. Mm. Uh, Then give her the meat. Mm. Doesn't like my meat. (laughs) Crockpot it. Crockpot it. (laughs) Oh, you guys are great. great. I see. I told you that no matter what. Oh man, yeah, it's I just. Good. I'm trying yeah. to think what else I had on my notes that we haven't got to yet. That, uh, uh, did like, you have anything on your notes? I think we pretty much I think covered. We like, talked about Easter, but I, you just asked how it was. We didn't yeah. go into details. Ours was very. It was very chill, just because it you was. Know, it was chill, not, and relaxing. Yeah. We hung out with producer mm. Elia and Chance oh, geez, and the Louise. baby oh, that I God. could not let go of. But yeah. then PK kept giving me the eye, like. Oh, you're going to make him cry. Let me hold him. Blah, well, blah. every time she would hold the baby, she's just like, she, she's not, she's not a very like, you know. Motherly woman? No. Is that it? Not at all. So then PK is like, just give him to me. Just give him to me. And I was like, you're, you're stressing me what out. What did they call me? The sleep masters yeah, they in the did, building. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, Dude, yeah, Dude, yeah. Dude. yeah. You put the baby to sleep in like minutes. I just, you know, I've never, with all of our friends that have had babies, yeah. either we, Moved, we moved away. We or moved away it, so quickly. We weren't close enough to like hold their baby. We've never been I around. Creep. We've never been around for any of our friends like babies as newborns. So like this is a first for us. Yeah. Yeah. So it was very, very like chill. Uh, we grilled and then we hung out like with her fam and they had a newborn as and well. Held the baby. That's there what we a, did. There was like two newborns. Yeah. Yeah. It was very sweet. Very sweet. And then at the next thing I look like I'm like falling asleep almost I'm like what time is it I'm like I'm so like relaxed and just finally like the worries of the world are completely gone at that point when you have like a child just like you know I would think that that's when they become more real because now you have to care for another child well it's not I don't think the worries of the world go away it's not, it's not, they amplify it's not mine though so oh, that's it, a good point yeah I was like yeah. we'll be here to hold and cuddle Back to whatever the you need life. yeah um you want to play a match too yeah of let's, course uh, let's have you leave oh isn't that a show you should leave I think you should leave Oh, you do? No, that's what the show is. Oh. Now, listen, I got to have a word with the chat because uh, I feel like when we did this on Saturday, you guys, you jumped the gun and just gave me like words and then I'm going to give you two words. Do not give me your answers until you have both words. For each word, you're going to come up with the word, word association, right? So you're going to put your two answers back to back. When you're ready, put it in the chat, then I'll bring her back in and we'll see. At some point, we have to. I mean, we have to be able to get a winner here. Uh, And I know we're just doing it for fun, but it's been like forever. And I think we did get pretty close on Saturday. So let's see what happens right now. Two words. Again, don't give me your answers yet. The first one, let's go with skate. Skate is your first word. Skate. Go. Give you a few seconds. Bring up the chat. Oh, Christ. Backwards Mickey. I didn't think of that. Yeah, if she doesn't get that. By the way, backwards Mickey. What the fuck did I just say, bro? Wait till you have both words. Jeez Louise. Now everybody's going to say that. All right. Uh, your second word is going to be, uh, let's, go with, let's go with liver. Your second word is liver. So skate and liver. Now you have both words. Now start dropping them in. Go. As you do that, I did get another instant voice note. It's probably Dina, but let's listen. Okay, my guess mm. for Lord Nelly, this is not my guess, it's Lord Nelly's, is an airplane. She thinks it's an airplane, or he thinks it's... They think it's an airplane, so airplane. But they don't have... Final answer. Phones and fingers that work? Here's the noise we're also trying to get a winner for. That's right, we do a lot of stuff here on this show, if you're new. Or if you're listening to it. Oh, Leroy... 
I was about to clown on you, but uh, no, nah, you're that's that's pretty good too. All right, come back in, come back, but do not look at the chat. All right, we good? Yeah. Don't look up. I'm not. And my I don't, my computer doesn't. It just has my head. Okay. Uh, your first word is skate. Skate. Skate park. Skate board. Skate. I can get out of there. Ice skate. 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 This gotta be easy. Someone's gotta. Someone's gotta think the same as me. Skate. What are you gonna go with? Board. You gonna go board? Correct. Oh yeah. my! Right. Right. There you go. All right. All right. All right. It's not that hard. These words aren't hard. All right. So you match with James. <laughs> You got matched with, uh, you got Bradley. Yay! Don't look up. I'm not. Let's see who else. Anita? Nice. Yeah, that was an okay. awful word. That's on me. That's, no, thank God. It makes me feel better about myself. Bootleg? Who else? The whole chat. Um, whole chat. Dina got it. Oh, hey, Dina got it. All right, here we go. This is going to be, uh, hopefully, let's see if you would have won with anybody. All right. Keep in mind, we used to play with just one person, so not opening it up to the entire chat. We <laughs> should have winners every week. Every week. We don't still somehow. Uh -huh. uh, your well, second. that's because like the ham and the pig thing didn't go well last year. Also, last here year, we go. Week. She's going to judge me on this word, but liver. Liver? See, I told you. Chopped liver. Liver and eggs? No. What do people love in onions? <gasps> that's what everyone does. If you think liver, you think body part, body, lame, chopped liver. Liver, what did I just say? Liver, onions, liver and onions? Is that a thing? Oh, it's either chopped or onions. Who am I going with? Are we crying at onions or are we celebrating at chopped? Lock me in for chopped. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable how bad you are at this. Are we opened it up to everybody, and still... <laughs> Nobody said chopped liver? Uh, chopped liver? No, What do you no. mean? Uh, all right, it, for okay, liver... Is that, is that an inside joke, chopped liver? You think it'd be an inside joke that uh, everybody's always not matching with you, but no. It's not worth considering, y'all, your chopped liver. Uh, it's actually not, not terribly bad. Gross, transplant, cancer, king, liver king. Kidney, gross... Gross. That's pretty good. Disease, disease. I thought you hated to. Liver disease. Oh, that's really good. Uh, uh, liver red. Red liver? What I am I? Yeah. Chopped liver? It's a uh, saying. See? Chopped yeah. liver. Come on, y'all. Yeah, well, I don't know what to tell you. West Coast thing. <laughs> Is that a West Coast saying? <laughs> <laughs> chopped liver, y'all. Now who am I? I'm just what? mixed. Oh, I don't know if I'm I can just play this. Up. Instant voice note just came in, oh. and it's kind of rude if I'm being honest. Stupid bitch. Oh, dude. Come on, y'all. You got to be a little right. nicer than I'm, that. I'm, Did you want to hear it? I know you missed it here. Stupid <laughs> bitch. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm trying not to curse. <laughs> bitch. Back to you. Oh, always oh. a good time. Always a good time. A movie quote. Okay, now that I can turn on my chat and everything. Um, let's end with the crazy <laughs> night that we had. Uh, Silly Jilly says you need to start going by DD. DD. Denise Diane instead of DK. Yeah, oh, I'm taking out the don't K. Encourage that shit. I'm going with Diane. Oh. Remember, I was like, uh, Diane is such an old name. That's my name. It still sucks. You suck. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's a good kidding. comeback. All right, let's end it with what our listen our, to our, our Saturday night. What we we must be just that old. I don't know. I don't know. We had a great yeah. Friday somebody night. said that. You know what he said we to me? We had a great great Friday night, and I know we shared it on um, the show, and and I know PK just posted it two days late for some reason. It's but, up there now. Uh -huh. Go listen to it. But yeah, we commercial had, free if you're a Plus member. We had an amazing Friday night, um, like with all my coworkers, and then you and I had I don't know. We just kind of had like our time outside. I wanted to share the Saturday felt, night story. It felt chill. Then Saturday comes along and go on. So we do the show. Yes. We have a couple of beverages on the show. And the show ends and it's like, uh, it still ended pretty early. Yeah, it was like an hour long. So like 9, 9.30. And then uh, for some reason. I wanted I, lasagna. You did too. I and was I was craving, craving Italian too. lasagna. And I don't want to say the name of the spot in case it gets back to them. <laughs> Uh, and we probably told them they probably all are all subscribing. So, you know me, they're like, you do a podcast? I'm like, yeah, scan, scan it, scan oh, it. You shit. know how many so Can I not share the story? I have to share the story. Uh, I'm going to share the story. We just can't go back. So we go there and it's, they close at 11, right? So we, it was like 930 and we're like, 
Because we don't like going like right next to closing time. We feel bad. So no, I always feel bad for the kitchen because I know yeah. everyone's trying to get out of there, and like the food is not going to be like the freshest. But we had plenty of time. Like we we yeah, rolled up at like nine forty, right? Yeah, they saw still it plenty of time. Hour and twenty. And then we sat at the bar. We like to sit at the bar. It's just us two. We don't have kids. And then uh, also you meet people. You talk to the bartender. We're and social. Stuff. And We're that's social. what happened. We met some people. Yeah. And like um, I it, play. So the the chick that was next to me was like very. Um, how do you say like not open, not really friendly or anything. So like, it's always my goal when like people aren't as like bubbly as I am to like get like, find out what they're about. Yeah. I'm just always so intrigued. I'm like, why are you so like hard? Like we're at a bar, like you're at a bar and she was like, yeah, we've been here. We come here for like a lot of years. Like this is our spot. We love it. And I was like, okay, well, cause you're the newcomer. You? I think I am. Maybe yeah, was you got to win them over. Yeah. I so I, so I tried. And by the end of the night, I sure did. So she was, was, she was cool. Head. She was nice. Is mm-hmm. there anything you'd like to share about her before I get into my Go experience? On. All right. So, um, so the bartender is cool, and then he suggests some food, um, which which you know we get, and then uh, we ordered a couple like rounds of wine, and uh, and that's between nine thirty and ten, right? So then we closed out our tab, but the conversation's pretty good because he put on, I think he put on Ghostbusters, and we started talking about yeah. movies, and the dude seemed really really cool. Probably is cool. I don't know. Um, so then we closed out our tab. Um, but then you didn't order, right? Like he just kept filling up our, oh, Correct. by the way, you had now have makeup looking like the Joker. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't, Why it, so serious? I Holy a, shit. A very, oh, you fucked up your makeup. Good. I had a very Look at that. Eye. Oh my, it's everywhere. I know y'all. I had a very itchy eye. Oh, is that what happened? I'm tired. Yeah. Sorry. So the dude's I'm cool. not a professional. Okay. Leave me alone. Keep sp- yeah. I can't imagine seeing that. Oh, <laughs> Oh, well, getting it. Later. News alert! You are getting it. So the guy's cool. We talk about movies and stuff, and then we start like uh, talking about horror movies and comedies and all this stuff, right? And now uh, the place closes at eleven. Now it's like eleven thirty. He's still like uh, filling us up and stuff. Uh, and I go to the bathroom, and this is the first thing that happened. This part, this, this, I don't know how to feel about this part. So I'm in the stall. There's a stall and there's a urinal. I'm in the stall, and this guy's like, uh, I forget what he asked, but he asked it really loud. But again, it was so weird. I'm like, he's obviously on the phone, so I didn't say anything. And then he asked again, right? And I'm like, he can't. He's got to be talking to me, which is, again, very weird. So I'm like, hey, you talking to me? And he was like, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. And then I told him or something. I forget what the question <laughs> again, was. At this point, the restaurant's closed. We're just hanging out after hours. It might have been like, have you been here before or something? It was just like, it's just so random that, that I don't even know. Somebody's just yeah. talking to me, right? So I'm talking back. I didn't care, right? And then, uh, and then he was like, well, man, I just want to say, how old are you? I was like, well, that's kind of personal right out the gate, right? Because yeah. it was like the second question in he asked that. And I'm like, oh, I'm 46. Oh. I actually answered honestly, right? He was like, oh, I thought you were like mid-20s, man. You got good energy. And I'm like, thanks, dude. <laughs> so I'm still peeing. He leaves, and I'm 46, so it takes me a while to pee. So Wait, I finally wrapped that, it up. Why does that happen? Uh, because you're, cause old man uh, pee comes out slower. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, wait till you're 46. So I, I'm feeling good, right? So I go back out, and then uh, the bartender's still filling us up, right? And uh, again, at this point, the bartender's really cool. And there's a song that's playing because the restaurant is closed. I'm like, what's this song? This is a kind of cool song. And he was like, oh, dude, let me tell you about it. Yeah. This is K-pop. I was like, oh, shit, here we go. Um, right? Because we've had experience with people that love K-pop, and there's nothing wrong with K-pop, but like, typically the people that I know that are into K-pop want to tell you all about K-pop. Yeah. It's not like a... Hey, what's that? That's a 21 Pilots. Cool, man. Great song. Mm-hmm. Like, all right. And then you, if you say K-pop, you're like in this conversation for a minute, right? Again, not wrong with that. So anyway, he goes K-pop and I'm like, okay. Um, and then he actually has to walk away. So I'm like, oh, cool. Maybe I got out of the K-pop conversation, you know? And then another song came on and it was kind of cool. I'm like, hey, is this the same band? He was like, no, different K-pop band. So the last band, here's where things started getting creepy. The last band all the girls were in high school when they made the song. Yeah, they're old now, but they were in high school. And this band, also in high school. All the girls in high school when they made, and they play their own instruments. You should see how talented they are. So a third song came on, same story. I'm like, that's kind of weird, right? I mean, he's just saying there are like it, three bands my, in the wrong. They all started in high school. My naive brain, he just thinks that they're talented. Unless all so K-pop young. bands start in high school. Please educate me. I yeah. don't know. Drop me an instant voice note and let me know. Uh-huh. I couldn't decide if, I don't know, would three times back to back high school girls get brought up. I've got flags and I'm like, uh, I don't want to be here when the FBI raids this place. Uh-huh. Right. You know, like 
I don't know. I just got weird vibes remind at me, that point. Remind me at this point because I was over. You were talking to the other girl. I know, but. Um, and then also what happened at this point was the other guy. Because I checked my account and there was no other charges for after no, our meal. They were cool outside of that. And then the other guy really trying to get my phone number because there was a younger employee. And then the older, I don't know oh, if he was his dad. Oh, he oh. was like asking for his cell number. Oh, Which is always weird. Well, I think that like they also were. I don't know. Like we have like a different energy about us for sure. But like, but that's still weird on night one trying to really push hard for the for cell your, number. Your but number. luckily, the younger guy felt a little odd, so he wasn't asking. And I'm not gonna offer it up. Anyway, I would have just given him a number off. But it was just weird how bad he wanted the cell phone. And he said if we went back, he'd buy us the dinner. Oh, that's which right. also was kind of strange. Well, I, I'm like, I don't know what kind of. I don't know here. It, it's weird because again, like we give off and Diddy like, vibes from Dina. <laughs> I know, right? I know. Diddy vibes. That's got to be a new thing on the show. Diddy vibes. But I also, and so many times this has happened to us, where like there are like still true, genuine people that aren't going after you for anything specific. They just really want to like enjoy your company. But the guy that was trying to get the cell phone number, we weren't talking to. Oh. He just came around at the end of the night. Like mm-hmm. I, I talked to the younger guy. The younger guy was the guy in the bathroom that just started yeah. out of nowhere. Which again, maybe he's just really, really we friendly. We need to start giving them the the number here, like the show number. Yeah. Or something. No, because and the bartender was really cool, except all the references to high school girls. And again, there was too many of them. And then the other guy with the I don't know. You just had. I mean, and again, we we call Are we going it, back. We I guess call is this the day and age. We call it the ick. If you have the ick, if you're like a bad diddy vibes. feeling, diddy yeah. vibes. Ick, ick, not no. Diddy vibes. I C K. Yeah, diddy vibes. Diddy we'll vibes. Yeah. Are we going if, back if, to uh, to Puffy's? Uh, what does he go by now? Who knows. Uh, n- that's so it. anyway, that's what happened. I don't know how we get ourselves into these situations. It's because but on we one get hand, too we're like, friendly and we just want to talk. Like, that's all. Like, And so many times everyone's like, oh, we have a seat here. We can go on the patio. I'm like, no, we'll just like chill at the bar. Because like, I don't know, even though like I'm done officially with work and like want to just like relax and everything. I also still my personality outside of work is I still want to talk to people. Sometimes, sometimes I'm dead. Yesterday, last night, I was totally like out. My brain fried. We went and picked up Kava. Yeah. And I was so excited because, like, y'all know me. They're pulling a scam. Yeah, y'all know me. I love a good deal. And we talked about they shouldn't even be mentioned on the show because they do not advertise. But, like, how much I love them. So, I was like, I am so close to, like, the amount of points that I need to get a free one. So, I was like, I'll order PK one, and then that should be enough points so I get a free one. So, order his for pickup. Not enough points. And I'm like, fine, I'll order like a water, like a sparkling water for $2 because I thought that would be enough points. Order it. I'm still off 50 points. I'm like, how did I do the math wrong? So I'm like, all right, well, I guess next time, girl math, I guess next time I will get the free one. And now I see that it expires. It's like use by 4-4, which is tomorrow. So I was like, is that used by? You got it. You get 4-4. Or is that, or, you get four, or four. Is that today? Because I'm going to, I'm not planning to use it now. They close in like 40 minutes. So I'm going to use four, it tomorrow. Four. Yeah. And if I don't get it tomorrow, I am blowing that Twitter up. Or okay. X, as long whatever. as you don't blow the restaurant up, the, the Twitter yeah. is good. I'll be the like, I up. did this and I tried to get my points and I am a loyal customer and I just want a free $12 wrap. <laughs> oh, that's all I want. <laughs> it's just about the rewards, Okay. Like, I'm loyal. I should get. I, I thought really we established earlier on the show that these hoes ain't loyal. And you were like, true. <laughs> um, I love how Anita uh, made the reference of what's your social security number. Oh, yeah. To the uh, creepy guys asking for the phone number. Yeah, it was like that. Mm-hmm. It was like that. And but and just, to, just to be clear, it's not like we talk S about everybody. Remember the guy with the Titanic? Uh, he went to the uh, Titanic. He went to the Satanic Club that we oh, met. Oh, yeah, yeah. That guy seems really cool. I would not go to any clubs that he recommends. No. But he seems really, really cool, no, right? We, it's we not like everybody. Again, you guys yeah. know, like, our motto from those, like, back in the day. Like, it, it is Tuesday's always... a new Friday. Bjorn. Or to live a great story. Oh, yeah, that, that too. <laughs> and, and, and it's always about, you know, not just living a great story, but everybody has a story. And, like, we want to be able to be a part of them being able yeah, to share Yeah, I want to start it. doing that on the show. I want to just yeah. bring it, but, I, you know, like, we everyone... ran the risk of, like, b- bringing in some boring people, and then we have, like, a boring hour, but I don't know. I'm thinking about just but having different people I come in. I think no matter what, and because everybody's personalities are so different, like, it was really interesting. We watched uh, Daily Show with Jon Stewart. Mm-hmm. Was it last night's episode? Uh, yeah. The one with the FCC? Uh-huh. 
And I was like, this chick is going to annoy me and I don't care. And I stopped everything. I was like, she is so intelligent and so smart and everything that she's saying. I was like, I don't understand how this world works with like Amazon and this and this and the monopolies of companies. But I'm like, I was really interested. And that is a that is another PK recommendation. I would have never in my life yeah. ever turned on. But yeah. I was so interested in that. Right, so your I horizons. Think, like with us, like bringing in new people and new perspectives and everyone, again, has a story. That's why the model of a great story, you know, we coincided with, you know. Yeah. We actually stole it from the people in Austin. Well, they, but he's very nice and yeah. uh, he's cool that we're also like uh, putting yeah, it we out were there. On his so podcast, thank you. So, yeah. He's really cool. Yeah. Him. All right, uh, let's wrap this up because uh, you know, you know, you, you know, it's time to wrap it up when like she starts moving uh, hands over the eyes and the Joker yeah. makeup yeah. comes out, and uh, you know. I'm but sorry, y'all. You have to appreciate the fact that she worked like I don't know how many hours from 8 a.m. to like you know 7 p.m. She seven. still said we're still doing the yeah. show. I yeah. want to thank every single one of yeah. you that dropped a donation because it is kind of rough for us right now, and we really appreciate. It. And uh, if you're in the replay gang, 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 and you have a couple of dollars you want to donate to the show, we'd appreciate it. It goes to, it goes to good resources here to keep everything on. Really, I uh, just want to say thank you for that. And thank you to the PK and DK Plus people. More shows coming your way. Anything I can't else? we have, like, the most amount of people right now is we're trying to sign off that are watching live. So I mean, I'll keep the fuck going. No, I don't care. I, I I'm just saying. Like, yeah, who's got a $100 donation? PK will do shots. Ooh. Oh, I shit. do not recommend. Uh, we need a new fireball. Cause that yeah, what happened fireball? with that? You did a. Oh, my God. Ew, uh, after the show on Saturday, like I poured us like a two fireball cocktails. We'll keep it classy. And okay, shots, whatever. And I took them. Um, I took mine and I immediately went to the bathroom. Well, we got a two dollar donation. I'll hey, take that. Hey, Eric. <laughs> Come on you. now. Eric. Hey. Sir. <laughs> Yeah, you did a fireball shot, and then I heard her immediately. Just it did not in my set toilet. Down. Just, yeah, in your toilet because mine is still broken. It's been over a year. <laughs> I'm working on it. We talked about this on Saturday. Oh my God! Next show, remind me. We I can't believe we didn't get to uh, Elia's uh, bushes again. Oh God! Holy crap! That, Y'all he, remember the account song? Yeah, that's, it happened again. Yeah, only but this was like they were. And now I actually feel really bad for the guy because he's up bushes, all night with the flat, baby, flat and flat like bushes. now I feel bad. Where before I got joy out of when bad things would happen to him, you know, because it's like a brotherly thing. You're like, yeah. ah, idiot. Yeah. You know, but now I'm like, I actually felt like I'm like, geez, idiot. Yeah. So, yeah. I know. Yeah. Remind me. Somebody in the chat remind me too, and then. Uh, no, we'll get um, we'll get producer Elia back on. I don't know, like their sleep schedule or routine at this point. Still, uh, I'm sure it's not easy. I mm -mm. nobody out of everybody that we knew that had kids, nobody has ever said anything about this three hour. Yeah, feeding schedule. Feeding schedule, and I'm like, how is that? How did that escape me from like all these years of all these people well, that well, are parents I, that nobody has ever talked about? That's the only thing I'd be talking about. I think again, we like all of our friends had kids. And like we had moved away. So like uh, we, like yeah. we would see them for like a weekend, and be like, Oh my god, cute baby and like, you know, adorable and like check in. But it wasn't that we were physically like there every like other day, every yeah. week, you know. It it was it was different because we moved, you know, immediately to Houston after that. Yeah. In my opinion, that's what it is. All right, with that. Thank y'all. Appreciate yeah. you. Uh remind me also next week there is uh, I've got a couple things I didn't get to, but um Next yeah, week. we'll do them next week. The um, let me play one more time that noise. You know me. It's always hard to turn this off. When we get on a roll, I have fun. It's like I don't want it to end. But uh, one more time, uh, the noise. And remember your hands. This did get recorded when we were in Kauai. Has something to do. What was the close guess that we had? Windshield wipers? That was a close guess. Yeah. Here you go. Okay. With it, that, it always brings me back. Are we uh, here next Wednesday, or yeah? Uh, uh, as far what's as your I schedule? know, yes, Wednesday. Join the Discord because that's where we put it. If, if for some reason we got to push the show or we move a new start time or something, Discord's where we uh, uh, when, put all that stuff in. Wednesday, April tenth. We will see you here live at seven thirty central. Okay. Until then, bye. Bye. It's the PK and DK show. Catch us live weekdays at 5 Pacific, 7 Central, 7 Central, or at pkanddk.com. Replays, podcasts, blogs, and more. I actually leave, and I'm not, I'm not going to say it again. Bye, 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 b